Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm on the floor because I was trying to find a good spot for lighting and my lamp is right there. And um, using my desk was not working. So um, I sat on the floor and I was like, oh, okay, shit. <laughs> so anyways, um, this is my Q&A. Um, and the GTKM, yeah, is get to know me if anybody was confused about that. So um, we're just gonna get right into it. And we're gonna jump into the first question. Um, I have all of them written down here. So um, the first question is, do you make wigs just for fun or do you actually wanna take that up as a career? I make wigs for the money. <laughs> like if you want me to be brutally honest, I make wigs for the money. And also because I do enjoy doing them. Like I enjoy doing hair, I really do. Because I feel like a lot of people overlook hair as like, not really like a professional like career or something like that but hair i think hair is like, like i know i'm gonna sound so corny but i feel like hair really is like art because like bro making something look as good as like certain people have made it look like arrogant Tay, bro like hit bro it's art it's it's art bro like the it's just i just feel like hair is so overlooked as like a profession so it's like you know um and as a career, yeah, of course I want to take it up as a career, but I want to be a veterinarian first. That's my first career choice. So in all honesty, it's kind of like if I don't become a vet, then, you know, I have hair as a backup or I have hair as a second job. You know what I'm saying? But even if I do become a vet, I'm still going to do hair like as a side hustle because extra money. Why not? <laughs> um, how did you get into doing hair? Um, in eighth grade for prom, I got my first sewing. Um, and I fucking loved it. <laughs> I fucking loved it. The whole time she was doing my hair, I was looking at it. The whole time. So, then, like, after that, after prom, I started watching so many YouTube videos on, like, how to, um, like, construct wigs and, like, bleaching closures and bleaching frontals and doing all this stuff. Um, so, yeah, that, that's literally what I did. Um, and that's kind of how I got into it. Plus, my cousin... Um, my older cousin Lana, she's been doing my hair since I was like, this tall. Oh, don't mind my slippers. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's been doing my hair since I was like, this tall. And so, like, I used to literally sit there and watch her like cornrow my hair, and it would be so interesting. And, um, I can't really braid, <laughs> like, I can, but like, not as good as her yet. So I just decided, well, if I don't like sports and I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that and I can't braid, then I can try to make you wigs because it looks easy. So I'm like, oh, maybe I can do that too. You know what I'm saying? Um, number three, uh, my favorite color. My favorite color is purple. You can't really see it. Well, you can a little bit, but my hair is purple right now. <laughs> it's like a dark purple. I dyed a red wig. I had a red wig and I dyed it black. Well, I tried to dye it black <laughs> and it came out purple instead, but the so I left it like that. Um, number four, if you could change your name right at this moment, would you? No. No. <laughs> like, when I was younger, I wanted to change my name because everybody had it. Everybody still has my name. Brianna is so common. Um, but now I feel like I'm just so used to it. I can't really see myself with a different name. Like, when I was little, yeah, I wanted to change it. My name was supposed to be Ariana. <laughs> But my mom decided to go with this bland ass name, Brianna. But now I like it. So now I wouldn't change it. Um, what made you start making wigs? Kind of like what I said in the first question. Money and just a pure interest. Um, it wasn't really no other like motivation. I mean, nobody in my nobody in my family really did hair except for my cousin. So it's just kind of like... And even then, like my cousin never did a sewing. Like She would never do a weave. So it was kind of like, nobody really knew how to do like sew-ins and make wigs and stuff. So I'm like, well, I can do that, you know? Like, it, it makes sense. So, um, yeah. Uh, number six, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully, graduating college or starting veterinary school or cosmetology school. One of those. One of those. Hopefully. Hopefully. That, that's what I'm shooting for. I'm, I'm shooting for college for four years, then veterinary school, then cosmetology school, and then I'm done with school. And then I have all these businesses and, you know, I'm making tons of money and I'm in the backyard and, 
you know, with my pool and my husband, grilling top quality steak. I said steak. I said steak. Steak. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, if I shoot my shot, will I miss? Um, I don't know. There's only one way to find out, but I would suggest you don't do that. Because I have my eyes on someone right now. So, <laughs> if, oh, I'm about to repeat the same question. Um, bitch, when the fuck you moving back? Never. <laughs> I'm never moving back to New York. Um, I don't even mean to say that as like, I fucking hate New York. Like, I'm never going back. No, I love New York. I miss New York dearly. Um, but since I moved when I was 15, um, because I just moved to Jersey last year, um, since I moved, it's kind of like, I don't see myself living there when I'm grown. Like, I don't see myself living there in my 20s. Because, like, as a kid, living in New York is nothing because you don't got to worry about nothing. You don't, gotta, you don't have some responsibilities. But, like, when you're an adult and you got to pay for, like, rent and bills and shit in New York, bro, that shit is high. New York is not cheap at all. For these little ass apartments, New York is not cheap. So I, I can't see myself living there. I'd rather live somewhere else, like down south or something, because, no. And plus, like, I grew up in New York. I'm not going to stay there my whole entire life. I just, I just can't. It's my home. It's going to forever be my home, but I can't see myself staying there and prospering there because everybody is at each other's heads in New York with, like, when it comes to like business and stuff like you know girls want to do hair you know a lot of girls want to do hair and everybody's always knocking each other down like all oh, bitches want to do is hair all niggas want to do is rap and da -da -da. I'm always knocking down each other hustle so it's like I'm not even about to put myself in that predicament because yeah um so never I'll come visit but never <laughs> um number nine how did you deal with changing schools um when I first came to North Brunswick I was fucking shocked <laughs> I was like, like, I saw the school building. I was like, what? <laughs> like, because compared to, like, my old school, like, my old school was still big, but, like, it was one section. Like, my whole my old school wasn't hard to get around. Bro, North Brunswick? I'm so glad they gave me a host. Because if they didn't give me a host, I would have been lost in that shit. I would have been so lost, my nigga. Like, mm -mm. I would have been so lost. It's crazy. Um, so basically all I, all I did to literally like deal with it because at first when I first came, I was very upset and what a lot of people don't know about me is that I have really, really bad anxiety. Um, like I overthink everything that I would create multiple scenarios like oh, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen, and this could happen and this can result in blah, 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 blah. Like I create so many scenarios on a daily basis about the littlest shit ever. Like I could be standing in line to get food. And I will literally overthink just placing an order. Like, so it's like when I first came, of course, I was scared. I was overthinking. I'm like, what if I do this? What if I do this? What if he tries to talk to me? What if I try to talk to you? It was a lot. It was, it was, it was a really a lot to take in. Because um, there was so many kids. And it was like, it was just really crazy. Um, but basically, I just dealt with it by basically just going, to the, going with the flow. I kept to myself. I didn't really speak to anybody at first. Eventually, I did open up and start branching out um made an instagram added some people now i got half north brunswick on my instagram um but yeah that's how i dealt with it just kept to myself and um whenever i was feeling like upset or like i couldn't put my feelings into words i kind of just typed Yes, I have a Wattpad account, and I type stories on there. So if you want to go check it out, I'll put it in the description. Feel me? Because you know Wattpad. Everybody love Wattpad. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, um, question number 10. Why did you start making wigs? Money. Money. I said it like three times. Money. <laughs> money. Everybody, everybody could use a little extra money in their pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's just going to want to sit there and do nothing. And rely on their parents' money all the time for the rest of their life. Me, hell no. I was like, shit, I can make one wig, I can make 20. <laughs> shit. Okay, easy money. Um, when did you start making wigs? January 2018. That was when I made my first wig, January 2018. Um, yeah, so it's only been about a year and some change since I made my first one. Um, what is your nationality? I'm Jamaican and Panamanian. 
um, my dad and my tia, my abuela, are from Panama, Rio Abajo, Panama, um, and my great, my, uh, my great grandfather and my grandfather, my dad's father and his grandfather, um, they're from Jamaica, from Manchester. So, um, yeah, I got a little bit of both. My mom is some type of Indian. She doesn't even know herself what the hell she is. So, I don't know what else I am, but I'm probably a mix of something else. Um, how old are you? I'm 16. Please do not come in the comments saying I look older because I know. <laughs> I hear it a lot. Okay, I'm, I'm only 16. My birthday is April 4th. So, um, number 14. It's only two more questions after this, so. How do you balance school, business, and YouTube? Um, well, I just started YouTube, so it's not really much to, like, balance, as you can say. Like, I don't really have a lot to, um, yeah, I don't have a lot to balance. It's it's not really, like, you know, because I just started it. Hopefully, it'll get bigger. Um, but school and business, um, basically, like, during the year when I would get, like, wig orders and stuff, Basically, what I would do is I would get my homework out the way first or, like, any school assignments that I had to do. I would get that out the way first. Especially if I had shit, like, I could do while I'm in school, I would do it in school. So that way, when I got home, I could focus all my attention on the wig. Um, because before, it took it used to take me hours to make a wig. Now I can make one in, like, an hour and 30 minutes. Or an hour, if I'm really focused. If I'm really just sitting there sewing, it will not take me a long time to make a wig. Um... So yeah, I, I always put school first, always. So all I did was I really just put school first, I focused on that, then business came second. And I was able to manage it. Eventually when I get bigger and I'm getting like 30 wig orders a day, then um, that's gonna be a lot. <laughs> but, but, but I'm a bad bitch, so I got this. I got it, I got it. Um, 15, who do you look up to and why? My big cousin, Alana. I look up to her. Um, because she's kind of like, I know many people don't have third mother figures, but I do. Oh my god, my hands are so long. Um, I know a lot of people don't have like third mother figures, but I definitely do. And it is my cousin, Lana. Um, because I grew up with her. Um, she taught me a lot. A lot. That is, I'm literally her mini-me. Like, I'm literally her mini-me. And, um, yeah, she taught me a lot. She got me through a lot of stuff. She's always there for me through um, every little thing I go through. Um, yeah, she'll beat my ass sometimes, and she bullies me all the time. Um, and sometimes she pisses me the fuck off, but I still love her. Um, and um, I always will. And she basically got me into this hair shit. So, you know, she's always there for me regardless. Like, even when I need to vent about stupid shit, like, she's always there. So, and now she's giving birth to my little cousin. I just... <sighs> I love her. So that's who I look up to and that's why I look up to her. Um, and the last one is, how do you melt your lace so perfectly? Girl, thin lace is the key. Thin, like, really, really like this thin? Bro, that is the key. That is the key. Anyways, um, that is the key. I, I'm sorry if y'all hear my brother in the background. Um, that is the key to... Okay, I just had hair in my eye, and I think it's still in my eye. Okay. <laughs> um, um, yeah, thin lace is really the key, because when you have thin lace, it's easier to melt. Um, you need thin lace, you need a good glue, so I would suggest bold hold and um, lace grip. Ghost bond is, I, I hate ghost bond so much. It works for other people, but for me, I hated it. I hate a ghost bond. It did not work for me at all. Um, I would not suggest using got to be either. I mean, you can use got to be if you're only planning on wearing it for like a day or two. Um, yeah, so thin lace, a good glue, um, a melted wig cap is the key, definitely. Um, a flat foundation is also key. You need a flat foundation under your wig. Um, that's how mine is able to look so flat because of my foundation. You see the purple? You see the purple? I know I'm not budging. <laughs> But yeah, that's how mine's ended up looking so flat because I have braids under this. Um, so I would suggest braiding your hair each time. Um, so yeah, that's really it. And um, if you guys have any other questions, um, please comment. Um, 
please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that. Um, I could really use it, you know, that I'm just starting out. And um, that is it for this video. If you guys want a part two, please let me know. Comment any questions below. Um, I'll put my social medias in the description. And the life of Brie is out.